a year and a half. You been single for a year and a half? Yeah, and I was in a relationship. A lot of people know I was in a relationship for 10 years. You was in a relationship for 10 years? That's why I wasn't doing no hollering on the ground. I was locked down. I was in a, yeah, I was in a relationship for 10 years, bro. You got some advice to tell me on, on relationships. I ain't, I ain't think I was never was gonna be in one again. So it's like I'm reevaluating everything because it was a good thing. I missed the significant other, like the bad days, super bad days coming to crib. I don't even know what's going on and shit. Uplifted, bring me up. But then she was changing me, bro. Mm. And I had to catch myself. Like, nigga, I pay attention to me. I'm dropping away, I'm dropping because it's like a lot of, I, I got a lot of stress away from me, put it like that. Okay. And I'm not saying she was. A bad stress because I had to be a man. But at the end to, of the day, like yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day, you got that space now type shit. I'm my mind free, my space free, everything free now. So it's like I can do, I can move freely. I'm not worried about how can I put it when I'm when I'm when you got a significant other. When you truly got a significant other, you can't just move for you no more. So you might want to pick up and go to go to Alaska. You can't just do that. Because you really? gotta run it past her. You gotta her. think about her money. Yeah, you gotta think about you got, and she the you mean how you know she won't be stuck in the house for a weekend while you go to do whatever you want to do. So it's like, mm. so since and I, I mean it was it was it was my fault it was, but I you made that. Be cheating? No, I didn't cheat this time. Not this. Time. Oh, let me uh, do the intro. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We we in too deep. Y'all like to like I like when like I start with the shit my shit with no, it. organic. Cheat. Conversation. That's just how I like, got my start and shit. But welcome back Hold to up. the podcast, my the guy, number one podcast on the Izzerv, and he on live. So I'm gonna do it to the. I'm doing the intro. To oh, the huh, I just want to show you. So you know, I know what's welcome going on. Welcome back to the show, the number one podcast. I'm talking to somebody I'm excited for. The biggest L, as some would say. The new Big L. Shout out, shout out, DJ Big L. This the new <laughs> Big L. We still rock. I'm gonna hold it down for us, man. That shit. That shit. I, me personally, I keep that shit just stays in my head. Like there's no like that shit is stuck in my head. Like yeah. they, I'm the biggest there. Like I'll be, the I'll be yeah, <laughs> I got soon everybody in the world that like and it be a feeling because I be seeing it happen, like in my videos and shit. It's like when I'm in the shower sleeping, I can visualize the shit. A million people throwing L's up because it's it's like it's natural, it's like easy. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Even the people I meet, they kids hear my song. Once they, ow, 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 ow. It's like, it's gonna flow. Ow, ow, ow. Trust me, it's coming. Everybody gonna be. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be in the crowd too. Of course, we're gonna be, we're gonna be on the stage. Like, I'm, gonna be on I'm stage? telling you, when it have this is what people gotta realize with me. I'm such solid dude that. I'm different. I'm not a lot of people. You probably even did your research. I don't want to jump too fast before you even ask the questions and shit. But we mm-hmm. talking, like I'm not American, bro. I'm African, mm-hmm. but I got a deep American roots. I came here when I was five years old. Mm-hmm. Right now, I can hop on WhatsApp and Facetime back home in Liberia. That was niggas just is, I, niggas is in villages. My cousin is deported. They dead. Like I can I, I I communicate with shit like that. So I'm different. I got two different sides of me. If you never really know what a certified struggle is, you play around with life, bro. And then you don't appreciate those who really did for you. Like anybody that know me that's, that, that consider themselves a friend and we not friends no more, mm. I guarantee you it's something they did. I promise you. Because I give <laughs> million and ones, I give a million and one chances okay. with certain niggas until I wake up. And once I wake up, I wake up. So it's like, it ain't no love lost, but I got to move how I move. So it's like, my whole way of thinking is different. Bro. No, for real. Just like, from being from you, there is different. It's, 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 I, that's one of the, just to get one of the questions out, like, that's one of the questions I had. Like, mm-hmm. when the last time you've been there? Like, the shit be like a sad thing because you would think it was an easy thing to go back and forth. But, that's a whole nother di- and I've never had an interview and even really got deep into what I'm about to say right now. Um, if I could, I would mm-hmm. put it. I just I I'm just being able to, so it's coming in 26. So a lot of people don't know, like with African families and shit. As soon as you start going left, they shun you. Yeah, they don't want nothing to do with you. So, I would have never, n- never, never would have thought Africans. Ask me. any African Nigerian. Lagos, whatever, because because you're portrayed as when 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 we, when we came over here when my grandfather came over here it's like 
and sent for all of us, it took a lot out of him. But mm -hmm. what people don't realize is you're throwing a child into a different type of environment. A whole different type of world. So I'm in elementary school getting teased because I might have my Jala beer on. I'm Muslim. But hey, my mom. When well, you had the accent too? Yeah, damn, I'm fresh from over here. <laughs> so I can, hold on, let me see if I can. <clears throat> Uh, my females be telling me like throw it on like cause I can I can it comes natural like what's going on Dada mm. what's up papi hey what's going on old man huh they picking you don't know what's going on I'm real live African dog I believe you you know what I mean my chamo she was she was going on with me you know what I mean any African nigga understand what I'm saying put it like that you know what I'm saying so I do not understand what he's saying at all but like. if it's a nigga that's listening on it you know exactly what I'm saying like mm. I said dipa you know what I mean I said chamo you know what I mean you know what I'm saying? So you don't even understand what I'm saying, but I can go in Philly and talk with these niggas and give it to them fluently. And it's, uh -huh. it's like that. So imagine getting thrown in an American live zone. So I'm getting picked on every day, bro. So coming to America is a real thing. It's a real, bro, fuck a real <laughs> thing. The shit, I came and I, and I got put in Rockland, mm -hmm. West Baltimore Middle, bro. Wow. You Over feel me? West. Over West. <laughs> West Baltimore, Middle Rock, land, bro. Straight from Africa? Straight from Africa, my nigga. Wow. And I'm going to school and the kids like, what the fuck is <laughs> y'all doing? My grandfather cutting my hair, bro. Yeah. So the first year I put up with it. And I'm telling my mom and them like, you got to go buy me what they buy. But my parents not listening. No, but, uh, go to school, do what you need to do. No, duh, duh, duh. that's all they. They don't care what's going on in the background, bro. Mm, they you don't care about that. What other people think. So, I got tired of it. Mm -hmm. I wish I. Now, this is one thing I tell anybody. Listen, don't get tired of it. Block niggas out. Don't let. And it's kind of hard to tell a kid in elementary school, middle school, don't Hell let yeah. peer pressure pressure them. But they just see that fashion. I got tired of it. I got tired of getting picked on. My mom ain't gonna buy it for me. You feel me? It was one incident. The last day of school, it was a big fight, but I didn't back down. I stood on 10. I got the shit beat out of me. I fought like eight niggas, bro. But eight I, niggas? Eight niggas. The, ask anybody that ever went on. Was it all at one time? No, no. No, it wasn't all at once, but the, it was a kid named Bruce with buck teeth. I remember this shit. He had buck teeth. If he's still alive, bitch, <laughs> fuck you. He had buck teeth, two long buck teeth. What he tried me in gym. I whooped his ass in gym. He ran home and said that I hit him with something and banked him. So his brother was from like Emerson Village or some shit like that. That's right. And they came out the bus with, I guess this time it was like green rags or some shit. They was deep the as- The green rags? They was deep oh, as shit, the bro. Rags. They was the green rags. Them niggas, but it was crazy because they like, Y'all and like y'all grown, y'all we in elementary school. But he like you gonna fight Bruce again, so I'm fighting Bruce outside. Last day of school ain't no t like teachers is letting. I don't know what the fuck. I beat him up outside again. So now it's like nah, all right you gonna fight me. So he whooped my ass. Then the next one, I like, know nah, you gonna fight me now. So in line, I'm I'm like fucked up. I fought all of them, bro. Eight. I fought about Emerson, eight, seven, bro. and eight niggas, bro. It bro. was a. What the fuck was this them nigga name, Green flag name, niggas. One of them niggas from the Green Flags, they, they was fucking with my sister. And mm -hmm. I hated them niggas. Yeah, they was just deep as <laughs> <deep laughs> shit. I couldn't believe fucking it, but flag, that man. changed everything. That summer, I linked up with some niggas from Jamestown. And then we moved down south, and then it was over. So now I'm my mom, she working so much, but she ain't one there. She not paying attention. She ain't seeing what I'm really doing. Uh-huh. And by the time she paid attention, see, and this is another thing, me and my mom, we clashed so much because she had me when she was 12. Oh, wow. So my mom didn't raise me, bro. We getting too deep. We can deep. really get deep. We, we yeah, getting like, too we get... deep, nigga. We supposed to be talking about them, these projects, these things. I know, and we just getting deep. Like, <laughs> But all that shit coming too, like, it's a reason why I'm winning, man, because I've been through so much shit and I'm still here. And I'm can still I ask driving. you a question personally? Of course. Before before we get in too deep, we already <laughs> talking about your mother. She had you when you was 12. Yeah. God, damn. Yeah, she had me when she was 12, bro. Like, right now, my, my mother young as shit. I'm in my 30s. My mother in her 40s. Uh -huh. the, she in her late, 12, like she in her late mother in her late forties. And how is y'all? I don't. You don't have to get to that personal, but mm -hmm. how how your relationship? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Um, it's like, cause like y'all damn near like brothers and sisters more than. So it's tough. I don't listen to her. I ain't gonna say I don't listen to her. I didn't listen to her, 
but it's a lot more for reasons like some people, I don't care how old you are, I want to face the truth. So I'm not never going to put her business on blast, Ma, I love you, but you know what's going on. So if I say, Ma, I want to talk about this, and I give you a time and a date, and you don't show up, you don't call, mm-hmm. but you come back around and for like, no, Ma, this is important to me. I want to know why this happened when this happened, but yeah. you don't want to talk about it. You feel me? And it's like, because I got locked up, bro, I'm, I'm time to black. When you ask, it's a couple of us, me, Tito, JR, Suggy. Who else? <laughs> um, that's about it. Are those the people I should be interviewing? No, these are people in my family wise that we the black sheep, bro. Uh-huh. So they don't want hear. Like, imagine being locked up with eight years, catching eight years at eighteen, and you only seen your mom one time. Yeah, that's fun. So we can get into it. It's I'm reason. a mama's boy, right? Now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and it's like I didn't want nothing but phone calls. I didn't want nothing but hey, but. Fuck it, let's get into it. You, she picked up and moved all the way to Minnesota on me, bro. Shit, from Minnesota. That shit hurt. <laughs> and I don't see. I, I'm, I'm up JCR, JPRU, just rocking doing my bits. But ma, there's still important times in my life because I caught this time at 18, and the only reason why I caught this time is because y'all lied about a lawyer. Mm. I got accessory after the fact of murder because I picked the phone call up, bro, and I didn't tell. The police said he sat me in interrogation one thousand. He said he said we know you picked the phone up. We know you wasn't there. Just we know he told you he did it. I said I don't know what y'all talking about. He said you gonna go to jail for that. And I went to jail for eight years. That's honestly all it takes. I went to jail for eight years for that shit, bro. Fuck. So let's let's um let's shift this. I don't yeah, like let's, talk- let's get back to the happiness. I'll I don't drop. like talking about <laughs> jail. I don't, I don't like talking about jail. I don't like talking about none of that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the sad part, but it's what made me. No, I, ain't, I ain't never going back though. I stand on that. I'm, I'm telling. If I ever go back, y'all ain't never got a bump of L song again. Can we I'm, talk about my favorite song right now? Song? The song I got on repeat. Which him. One? Him. I'm him. Them goofy going up, fuck them perks again. Keep talking like he him. I told my young and send that boy to God. We ain't gonna play with. Tell him. me about that song. Give me a backstory. Uh, or something. Like, I heard the beat. My man sent me the beat. I got a different. A lot of people don't know. I be having like different beat dudes in different states too, and then. I wanna, I'm going to link the songs because I ain't no stingy nigga. Any beat on YouTube, you can lease it. Mm. Any beat. So yeah. everything that I drop... A lot of people I, don't know that. Yeah. Y'all got to use this and use the internet for what it's there for. And I give it to you. Hit You go into the description of, the, of whatever. Anything on YouTube, whoever posted it has their email there. So you go into the description and email yeah, the, the person. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. can lease the beat. Like all my beats, I put at least a five-year lease on. And it don't cost that much. Most, most of the person going to charge you $75. Because you're not buying a beat, you're leasing it. So within five years, if this song take off, then I'm double back. Get back, get back. Let's get back to the song. But yeah, the uh, with that, I was in the house and shit, and I was running through my beats and shit. And I had just dropped, I forgot what I had just dropped, but I was like, everything with my songs is a feel. I don't never just pick the pen and pad up. Mm -hmm. Like I might be smoking and I feel it. Or I might be hearing, I'm I'm riding in the car, I forgot who I was listening to. It might have been me. It, might have, it was something I was listening to, and I was like, I'm going to the house to write. And I will. You can tell this, like, shuffle. Some, you can tell this, you bumped him a lot. Like, I bumped Meek a lot. Like, I bump, fuck with anybody else. I bump, I fuck with Meek. There's certain artists I fuck with, you can tell, because I, I like, I bump them. Like, and some people say, you sound like, because I bump them. Like, I don't stick myself in one, one box, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But that joint just came together. It didn't take, him ain't take long to put together. Him probably took 30 minutes. I'm a hook dude. Once I <laughs> once the hook leg, oh, you punch in and you. I'm every I'm every every four bar. What four bars? That's why my shit sound. That's that's, that's that's crazy because you know a lot of niggas they just do every line type shit. They they can't do four bars. Mm-mm, I'm every four bar, so I'm give you four bar, then replay it. If it sound good, then we are gonna do the next four, and then my I don't end it now. I end it now with it. I do three. I I do it's three three to four levels on my shit. I'm gonna record in and out. I mean, I'm going to every full ball, then I'm going to come back and stack it. And then when I stack it, I'm going to try to run through as much as I, not run through, but without having to catch my breath. That's where mm-hmm. you're going to stop me at. And I'm going to pick it back again. So it's going to, it's going to, it's going to flow how it's f- supposed to flow with them full bars that I'm catching. I then the in and out and the ad lib. That's it. Shit. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hook dude. Once I get the hook, I love hooks. Like. My verses oh, yeah. be important too, but mm-hmm. I feel like my hook got to gotta catch you. You got to feel the hook. Because once you feel them with the hook, when the verse comes, you're going to 
But you waiting for that hook to come back because the no, hook was real. really. Think about every the Insta course. snap. No, for real. Every Insta snap you go on, you put people words in, like verses in, but you mainly go for the hook. Mm. You know what I mean? I guess I can I can scratch that off the list um, yeah. for the, for the rappers coming up that that want to know a good outline to what to real that shit. Songs. There they go right there. Just run it back a couple seconds. Run it, but that's it. Like you gotta, and I don't play around. Uh-huh. Uh, before I go in there, I fuck, shout out Profit Productions. I fuck with Profit. He give me a good deal. But with anything, time is money. So anytime I go to the studio, I know I know the song already. Mm. Cause I done recorded it. I done recorded it at home myself, off of my audio, on my phone. Or I got other little shit in the crib, and I know what is. I know what I want it to sound like before I go in there. I do. I usually go to the studio, get three hours, and within the three hour time, I do a, a song an hour. And ask anybody that record me I, a song an hour, bro. If I if 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 it's longer than that, it's I don't know why. Maybe I'm. A little too high or something. Yeah, I I don't want to I don't want to distract you from what you what you're trying to say, but I do want to I do want to talk about um something important that a lot of upcoming artists don't seem to grasp on like paying paying not so more so like they think it's like paying for for your work like investing in yourself like you talk about to. that. I used to be one of them artists like that. Then like the prices nigga gave me, thought that I was so I was so hot that I shouldn't pay somebody else for what they charging me. But you got to invest in yourself. And I can say that's why my stuff is starting to do a little bit. I, I, I don't care what anybody else think. Myself, I feel it. Like, mm-hmm. I feel happy about how things going, like, as of right now, this day, music-wise, because I'm starting to put money behind myself. And you don't always have to put it at first. It's like everything else. If your car broke down and the parts is 1500 you got to save, save, save. Pretty that's much. That's it. It's life. You can't, if you ain't in that position where though you got a bag and you can just go. I got the same thing in this country. You feel what I'm saying? But that's it. Like, you got, that's how I go, bro. You got to, you got, the ones who are doing it, I wish I knew how. I don't like just, I don't know. Even with, like, you got to pay attention. Everybody you think that just blew up, they didn't. They They're did. They're connected. They, they related to They're somebody connected. that's like, cool with somebody. Go on the internet and your favorite artist, act, go see who nephew or cousin they is. It's okay. it, not everybody. I'm not saying everybody, but most of them. Most of the your most favorite. Most of them. No, fuck that. I love Lil Baby, but Lil Baby was connected with P and them. Like, he didn't just. With Young Thug and them. He was connected with, with the, You know what I'm saying? He didn't just get it. He 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 put when he got in the door he put his work in. He was in the studio with them way before like he already caught the sauce like all right. Can I you go to the next? Can Please, because we kind of know both question. of the same shit. Yeah, like right. it's, it's it's you gotta put the money behind. We not yourself. we not here we not here to relapse shit. Like nah, if you, you here gotta, watching this you already you should already know type shit. You gotta put the money anything um, in life you want a brand to go off you gotta put the money behind. You might have to pay a dude to put just to wear your shirt, bro. That's how I go. Um. I don't want to, you know, everything is business rap, business rap. I want to talk about you personally. What's up with you personally? How how um, you been doing, nigga? What's your, where your mind been at? I'm great, man. Um, I had a dark patch, like, and a lot of people won't even know unless you really knew, but probably, like, around the, around the time I dropped, damn, what song can I say that was? What was before him? Huh? Around the time I dropped, no, what was at the two two three? I would say about like five to six years ago, bro. I was fucked up. I was catching the bus. Five to six years ago. Yeah, about between four to five years ago. Yeah, I was catching the bus. My car was fucked up. I had to stay on my brother's couch because oh, shit was just left. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It seemed like no matter what I did, it just wasn't clicking. You feel me? So I had to reevaluate everything, bro. Like, and I can say. Once you focus on yourself and make yourself happy and do things that, you, without saying f the people in your life, the important people. Like to me right now, the only people that are important people is my son and my daughter. That's it. If you ain't my son or my daughter, I'm not saying you're not as important. But that daughter, the only two that I would drop anything, is nobody else right now. Mm-hmm. But I focus on me, my son and my daughter. That's it. I have shit that I got to take care of, but. Life great. Like I finally feel like things are going how I want it to go. And I'm being genuine with everything. I'm not faking the funk with nobody, even down to females. I'm single, I have friends. Everybody know that. That's that's you know that's saying? that's great. Like me personally, like I feel like I'm finally manning up. No, for real. Real shit. Me personally, I'm happy. 
I'm happy that you feel like that. Like a lot of yeah. black men, especially in this time, like a lot of black men our age and around this area, like they feel like the total opposite. And like yeah. they really about those like and I'm not on demon time out here. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm loving life, but don't I'm still the same Sergeant Street LP. Anybody that knew me for now in South Baltimore, Sergeant and Curry. I was the late night king. I was the daytime king. I sold coke like it was dope out that drum. I stamped it. Anybody, yeah, everybody know what it is. <laughs> real shit. I, okay, I was, okay. I was we don't have to talk no, about No, real shit. Not, not, to, not to bring that. it out there, but I'm still the same me, but I'm not on that type of time no more. Mm-hmm. I, I I think about the next day because I, I, I make sure that I got to be there for my kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type now, if you bump me, I'm going to let you go. Fuck it. So, I so know. I know. I just like just to just to just to just to give it a cool just to give it a cool ease down. I'm trying to um, the, what's the ah, fuck? I had a question. Oh, it was just July Fourth. Uh huh. You said you got a son and a daughter. Yeah. What was the moves? What did you do? Like on the fourth, uh, I work too. A lot of people don't know, and we're gonna get into that. I'm probably if y'all. I ain't even when it's time for me to tell y'all what I do, y'all would know. But I work too. I work, so, you know what I mean? And I probably do something that your nigga be like, how the fuck this you nigga? Gotta, you don't got to get all this. No, we ain't going to get into it, but yeah. So, but that day, I, uh, my son, he had caught me in the morning time, right? And he was like, dad, I want to go see the fireworks. Him and his mom was supposed to go to Six Flags. My daughter went to Six Flags, too, with her mom. Mm-hmm. Sent her like $150 that morning. But, like, I felt good inside knowing that, damn, I'm going to take my son and go see the fireworks. But this is another reason why I be feeling like I don't even like being in Baltimore because I had to like, I would love to take them downtown, but I couldn't take them downtown because I didn't feel like it wasn't safe enough. But So we went out Catonsville, um, by the football field, Catonsville High. Oh, yeah, and they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they had a nice little setup. I went out there a couple times. I took the uh, the lawn chairs, had the cooler, endless snacks, Subway. We probably got out there like 8.30, right before the lights went down. The, that's that's big the perfect blanket, time. Yeah, big he blanket. For the fireworks. And he loved it, bro. That's all that matters. Yeah, like my son is everything. My son and my daughter is everything. Like my nothing in this world make my inside smile or happy when I know I'm doing for them. Mm. Like when I go, yeah, I look good. This shit ain't about nothing though. But when I go, my son, mark my word, my son's birthday the twenty fifth. Watch how we coming. July twenty fifth, Leo. My birthday is twenty seventh. Yeah, he's Leo. His birthday July twenty fifth. We're going to Big Cajon out of New Jersey. Oh, I wanna, I wanna say well, what I, I wanna pull up. <laughs> <laughs> for real, it's gonna be lit. What's crazy? I just, I just paid for all our tickets today. Like, that's beautiful. We're going to Big Cajon out there, and I'm a, I'm right behind him in September. But watch how I'm coming for my son before I come for me. No, for real. But I hope. I, if anything, from before before you watch this interview, before you take any advice about your hard rap lyrics, before you take any advice about how to be a big rapper, yeah, like the big you, L, I can be the best. I'm, I'm the best example of a father. I promise you, I'm the best example of a. I'm the best example of a father. I'm the best example of putting your kids first, and I'm the best. Probably one of the best examples of standing on business. You'll like, never stand on business with everything in life. Shit. We can put that in all categories. Everything. Oh, uh, I just, I just recently learned how to stand on business with females, like the past three <laughs> or four years. That's, just a that's probably that, that's, that's where we're men. So that you that's know what I'm saying? saying. That's a lifetime. I lifetime. didn't did my rounds, in, but that's the old me. But with everything in life, bro, and we can put everything. We can put the women in that category now. Like I don't. I'm never. I used to be one of the young dumb new quick to call a female b word. Nah, for what? Yeah, I'm you just I mean? getting. I'm just turning that page myself. I can't even cap. But once you meet a female and y'all get comfortable enough, she might be okay with it. Like I know some like you can. You know what I mean? But no, nah, like with everything, I just like I'm the best example of all that. If you want to see how to be a father, put everything else to the side. Make them kids important, man, because that's my future. Well, a lot of people don't know. I love what I'm doing. I love this shit. But my son love it even more. <laughs> so he like, your biggest fan? He's my biggest fan. You ask Karan, he can he. He can give it to you. Okay. I back him up from the videos recently for a reason. Like, it's a reason why you don't see my sons and too many of my videos no more. It's for a reason because I feel like shit really going on now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, privacy. You need that. Yeah. So he yeah. his own kid. You feel me? But he watching everything. So just know that I'm sponging this game, man. And by chance, if I don't, I'm okay with it. Because he will. I promise you. That's real. It's going to be impossible. It's like anything else. Repetition. 
And the more that I know, the more connects I at get. The, it's that shit. At the end of the day, it's it's like science. If it's like if you do if you go your whole day failing, or you can do your whole day your whole day successing type shit. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's science. It's going way out. It's Every like water time, type bro. Shit. Um, if you had to give, if you had to give, I'm sorry. This is one of the main questions I have. Uh huh. Um, for a fan that's listening, three songs for them to listen to. Right now. By or, the biggest L. Like if they or, had if they or, listening right. to this interview, they're like, all right, I need three songs to put on. If my you playlist. listening to this and you like three songs where I can see what this young man about, how he coming, definitely him. Mm-hmm. I would say that person. Definitely two two three. <laughs> two two three go right now. Yeah, for real. And one more. I would have to say go more, even though I'm featuring. Shout out my my bro, Biggest Finesse. Even though Biggest Finesse, but we me, me and Finesse, we clicked like that's I don't much, know. That's, that's I don't know big. I don't know bigger Finesse from the. I never. We just linked up on some linked up shit. That bro. that go mode, that go mode song, that shit made me want to get up, start counting some money. Yeah, like, it's like it made you want to get some shit. <laughs> I was like, that's the three right mode, now, <laughs> and that's the like you can. That's the three, but I got some shit coming. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I you got, got you got a summer on lock type shit. I got some shit coming. I ain't gonna say on lock because it ain't there yet. Other people say it, but me personally, I got a lot of work to do. But after this summer, they're gonna they're gonna respect L. I prom- even if they don't like it, they're gonna be like, damn, Shorty really. Cause I got a lot of like shit that you know how you feel like you can't do something until you know you can do it. I can do everything they can do, so I'm about to do it now. I'm doing mm-hmm. everything they doing. We doing. So what, what can they can they what can they expect from you? And these uh, uh, today is ju- today July. is July. What? What's, what's, give, give us a three month plan. You don't got to give us the sauce, but give us a three month plan. All right. Because it's exclusive on the Blase Network. On the Blase Network, never heard before. July twentieth, we back in New York. I'm on the therapy. I got. Oh, I forgot about Phil. You don't know how I feel. I lost it all in the field. This shit is gonna give you that feel. You don't know how I feel. Mama yeah, was back on the bills. Before. I had to work it for real. You don't know how I feel. Yeah. Damn, cause I be giving. It's a snippet on Phil on my page though. But I just I record so much, and then some people be like, "Yo, bro, why you just dropping music like that?" How many? It's times another you thing. It's, not, it's no mixtape coming no time soon. So if anybody thinking it, I got so much other shit. I, once I feel like I want the people how I want them. It ain't gonna be a mixtape till I at least get the 10k followers. So I don't care if it's five years from now. It would never be a mixtape. Mark my word. I would never drop a mixtape, a project, until I believe my shit is where I need to be up at. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what the people say. I don't care how they feel. Just know that y'all gonna get constant music probably for the next. I can give y'all constant music for the next four to five years, constantly, with nothing distraction, nothing, nothing holding up. Because I feel like this is how I feel. A lot of people don't agree with me. I feel like I have to win the people. What's the point of me dropping the mixtape if nobody's gonna go download? If only my homeboy's gonna go download, or if you're gonna go pay the fit, fake robots to, to, to download your shit. So I know people are listening, but I feel like I still got some more work to do. You know what I'm saying? So July 20th, we got, we back in New York July 20th for uh, the, the therapy. And then after that, I'm in Miami. For my for my birthday, September twenty second, I'm shooting a movie down there. Like I'm shooting a, every production wise. I wish I want to say who I'm shooting it with, but we ain't gonna do that yet. You don't want to spell the song? Nah, y'all just gonna, gonna see. Once y'all see who I'm shooting this video, where y'all gonna see how I'm coming. I promise on everything I love, I'm not playing September twenty second. And then in between that July and September shit, I'm gonna give y'all at least two videos because y'all gonna get y'all gonna get the, the therapy, and I'm gonna have and I got at least one more full music video coming before my birthday. I promise that. It's a video a month. Shit, you on that type shit. I'm on a video and I'm standing on it. I'm on a video a month. Look at my page. Say no, you. that's what you've been on. My, I'm my on a video my, a month. My research when shit really up. get to clicking, I'm going to be on more than that. I'm on a video a month and I'm adding interviews and all that in with it with shows. Like the next show that I want to do is Summer Jam. So I'm saving my money for Summer Jam. I'm, I already hollered at Tracy. I'm saving my hmm. money. So y'all know where y'all going to see him next. Um, y'all know what's going on. Y'all know the projects. Y'all know what's about to come out. We drop video em. every month. I'm gonna hold you to that. And hold three, me to and it. And in three months, I need you back here. Just, just off the love. Off the love, just hit me. I'm here. Straight right. up. I so said I want to come back. Remember when? It, where we, where we at? We in July, right? Yes, yeah, sir. August, September. Let me come back like around, 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 uh, around Halloween. 
Halloween. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him something for that too. I plan on doing a kickback, like a yeah, whole little me. live stream thing. It's gonna be yeah. 2K there. You're gonna be able, the people gonna be. It's gonna be a live stream. Well, I'm but a 2K gonna, king. That's, that's not. That's not. I'm that's a 2K not. King. Anybody they're want? not supposed to know that about oh, that. Oh yeah. Just in case anybody want to put their money up and lose, I'm 2K king. Here, here, 2K king. We're not. I'm supposed a gamer. To they're not supposed to know that yet. Though. So that's secret sauce. <laughs> that's right. that's me and you. But, uh, but I appreciate shit. having me, man. This is love. And like I say, man, if y'all were on a real interview with somebody who ain't. Just taking your money, man. Holla at bro. I don't know this man from a can of paint, but we Who, me? We, we we locked in now. So it's like just me coming yeah, just me coming through the just me I'm this is me, like just me coming through the door. I've done business with a lot of people. Not a lot of people meet you outside. Not a lot of people make sure you like you know what I'm saying? So it's like you can when it comes down to business, he does his business how it's supposed to be done. You feel me? Like and I'm I appreciate a, that. From a from a from a Baltimore City dude. Like niggas is I go I, I Google Maps stuff like it's a lot of nice spots in the city but it's certain spots I would never go. No, for real. And I can say it on I I can't I fuck with Studio Compound in PG County. Studio I would Compound. never go to Studio Compound in Baltimore. I can't. <laughs> yeah, Studio Compound is canceled. Yeah, over they the in, the, in the in the in the one in it further out and shit. They they good but Studio Compound is canceled like R Kelly type shit over here. I, oh yeah, I can't even <laughs> I can't even go to the one. It's like. Two, if you want, if you want your business, this is a nice setup. Like y'all need to come through this, John. You want your business, you got to represent what you do, and you represent what you did, bro. So I, I appreciate it. I, honestly, I just try to get the culture. I try to get the people what they want. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to get the people what they want. Type shit. Man, might, that might sound greedy. Coming, man. That might sound selfish. I got a lot of shit coming. Just before I get off, man, I want to shout out Baltimore. Like we doing our thing right now. Just. I just got a message like, just let this shit be genuine, y'all. Like, Rax, Tech, Moose, like, Moose was just in the picture with Kanye West, y'all. Like, Money Jake, Marty, like, Sleepy, like, we got some shit. Me, you feel me? And just remember this one thing, and I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Look at this shit like the NBA. Is multiple teams. We can all get the fuck drafted. <laughs> the no, fuck? for real. We can 32. all. It's thirty-two fucking teams in the NBA, and we can all get drafted. No, Just put real. your work in and support other people. Put your work in and support. I, I repost niggas that don't repost me. I don't give a fuck because I know I'm fire. It's like the NBA, y'all. Is we can all get drafted. Just grind, man. I'm no, grinding. Big L. L up the campaign. I refuse to lose is the slogan. Y'all keep watching. I love the support from everybody I've been getting. And anybody that know me, man, look, I came a long way and I deserve all this shit, man. So I think you do too. I think you yeah. represent a lot for the city, not just for, you know, just Baltimore. It's not nah. just Baltimore. It's South Baltimore. It's North Baltimore, West Baltimore. Everywhere. Like you represent you represent more than that. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm a solid dude. I'm and one of the solid ones. Chin up every time, take my licks how I take it, and I keep moving. And that's just life. I had to. That I, I'm African, bro. <laughs> like, no, for real. It's sad to say, but like, you are African. I'm, I'm real live African. Like, that's not even a down thing. No, no, say. I'm saying like, it's, I love it, but like, even that, not to even to say it just because I'm that, but it's like, I gotta win. I can't lose, bro. I promise y'all, I can't. And it might not be rapping, but it's, I'm gonna win. In life, I wins, bro. <laughs> like, I. I take my licks though. I done took a lot of losses, but in life, man, I'm gonna win, man. You I don't care what nobody's saying. As long as you got to get the attitude like me, you're gonna you gonna see what start happening for you. Might wake up one morning. You ever woke up to a five hundred dollar cash app? You don't know where it came from. Ooh. I done had mm. shit like that. I woke up, I hit one of them. I was like, ooh, ooh. Wow. And then you know, and then you'd be like, I know this is a mistake, but they don't even send you no other message. So by the time I withdraw hey, that man. to that MT account, it's mine's now. On that, on that, on, on, that, that, on note, that note, L up, man. <laughs> L up. Thank you for tuning in to the biggest show, the number one show on the Izzer. Until next time, thank you. Appreciate y'all, man. We'll see you next time. We'll see y'all next time coming back.